and the Brakta Yahawa Brakata, Yahusha, Brakta Yahawa Brakata, Yahusha, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled, An Evil Eye. Lord Will, you are edified. <clears throat> Hebrews 1 and 1. The Most High, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spoke in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken unto us by his son, Yahweh Shai. Right? So, According to the spirit, right? Yahweh Shai was crucified two days ago. Okay? Now, in our so called reality, that's 2,000 years ago. But the point is, when Yahweh Shai was walking the earth, according to our so called reality, it was 2,000 years ago. That's the point. As in these last days, and when Yahweh Shah spoke to us, when he prophesied to us, right, the time frame was classified as the last days. And that's the point. Uh, to us by his son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Right? Let's go to Matthew 24 and 12. For the term cold, according to the Greek. Strong's G, 5594. Psucho. Psucho. And this is where you get the term psychotic, psychosis. Now, if you are familiar with those terms, it means that a person is not in touch with reality. Why so? Because those demons, okay, are in full control of that person's mind, okay? Follow me. So let's go to Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and 54. And let's start at verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which will not adventure to set the soul of her foot on the ground for delicateness and tenderness, meaning what? Our women were extremely feminine in the ancient times. Her eye, meaning her mind, shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter and toward her young one that comes out from between her feet and toward her children. All right, that's the point. An evil mindset toward her children, meaning what? Going as far as her murdering her children, okay? Which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for one of all things secretly in the siege and straightness. And this happened during the time frame of 70 AD, under the Roman persecution, right? Where with your enemies shall distress you in your gates. But the point is, it's still happening now. Now, in the case of this woman, right? And if she is an Israelite, guess what? The curses affected her so that she murdered her two sons, right? And let's just say for argument's sake that she's not an Israelite. But guess what? 
And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Wax means what? To grow, right? To progress. Cold meaning what? Going into that psychotic mindset. You have to be psychotic, right? You have to be extremely psychotic if you murder your children. Also, this video will be used for fair use purpose only, okay? Fair use purpose only. Tiffany Lucas, a 32-year-old mother in Kentucky, has been accused of killing her two young children, ages 6 and 9, inside their Shepherdsville home. The Bullitt County Sheriff's Office arrested Lucas and charged her with two counts of murder after responding to a shooting report at the residence. A witness found the children in a bedroom with gunshot wounds, and a gun believed to be the murder weapon was discovered on a bed. The children were taken to a local hospital, but died shortly afterward. The investigation is ongoing, and authorities have not released further details about the incident. Tiffany Lucas has a previous conviction for drug possession, resulting in a one-month jail sentence. The motive for the alleged crime remains unclear, with authorities mentioning possibilities such as mental illness. Lucas is currently held at the bullet... Mental illness, right? delves into the arena of being psychotic, okay? Especially if it's um, a so-called thought disorder, such as schizophrenia, psychotic disorder. The county detention center on a $2 million bond. A judge entered a not guilty plea on her behalf. The community is left in shock and sadness over the horrifying incident. Lord, will you edify Shalom?